Hey guys, it's your boy Homo Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video. And today, y'all see the title. I'm gonna do a review, which is part one of it, on Honey Buns Poems of Transformation. And I gotta tell y'all, this just came out of nowhere. Like, I just wanna like, Actually, it's like this. Tw on Twitter, when she DM'd me about like two or three days ago, she said there was like a giveaway or so. She, did, she basically just asked me, like, what was my address and my f and then and then what's my full name and such. And literally, I can like even show you like. from like this so trust me when I got it from this this was in here and trust me I tell you and I saw like pictures of it on Instagram where and she had like a like I wouldn't say like a lot lot but she had some of these so trust if you have it I have her Twitter D I have her Twitter link down in the description box but hey all I gotta say is the way how this book looks like with her artwork and such and the description for her and such trust me it's out of this world and you know what I mean I'm gonna read the description basically it's saying and I'm not gonna put her full title and such like I said in the title I just have I'm gonna just say her artist name honey Bun. so basically like the description says like after having a life similar to the motion picture pressures honey bun refuge found refuge in her hard work the love the love of words has drawn an audience to her all around the world this self-made wordsmith is happy to share her art with the world for the sake of liberty in the african-american community and it says that her favorite thing to say is, despite all the troubles I face, my art is something that has never failed me but molded me. And trust me, from her music to this, I couldn't agree more. Because trust me, this book right here is, and like us like you see in the title it says part one right I've read half of this book so far not the full just half of it and a few of the poems I like they were true to the bone like even when I just opened it up like I saw in the message where she wrote saying like to Ziggy thank you for the constant love because I always do that and I'm not trying to say it like a boosting ego or so I'm just being real and she said, stay in the, stay a gentleman. All the old ladies. No, I'm sure. But basically, when I was like reading, the first one that caught my attention was in her mind. Where like she basically wanted, like when I was reading, she was basically telling her how she was when she was growing up. Where she said like she felt like depression. She talked about how. She could have been a pop, a pill popper at the age of 11, and hey, and she had like rep repressed memories and such. But it's like this. I'm not trying to say like it was bad. Maybe she's maybe in her like, and it's like this poetry. I always say like poetry. Sometimes people can fake it. Sometimes people can't fake it. Well, trust me, she, she don't fake it. But the way how she's expressing it and such through her, through when I'm reading it, trust me, nothing about it is fake. And it's like this. In her mind, it was good for me, no doubt. But it's like this. I like, like three or four of them, if I'm correct. In her mind, might be one of them. But the next three are the meeting, where 
basically sorry basically she goes into talking about how she met jealousy and envy and everybody always want never wants to meet those two because that's always been around for me forever like you always gonna find people jealous of you or envy you always want to see your downfall right nobody wants to see that and where like she said where and let me see if i can find a part because i see where she had a part there where i like and it's like basically where it says like if actually at the end where it says about for jealousy comes jealousy comes next to me and says if you don't acknowledge us you can't get act you can't get happiness because it's serious trust me jealousy jealousy man sometimes most people don't want to even come around them because trust me you can sniff it like like and it's literally what this says the next thing is like it's saying i'm sniff in the hips i'm sniffing hatred out the sky and trust me when it comes to jealousy you can sniff it from a mile away you can always tell when somebody's jealous of you just because they thought if you were gonna be if you weren't there for them or so and so so trust me i'm surprised and it's like it's she and herself i can tell from the way how she acts and such she ain't no jealous stuff that. But the next one where I like was daughter, social, mother, internet, and basically she goes into details about like the pros and cons of how to use the how to use like social media and the internet. Cause we always know that no matter if it's Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, or whatnot, one way or another, sometimes. It can help you get to help you gain success or make you like basically be recognized badly. Sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can be bad. And with the way how she does this, and it's like this. I like what the line wave says, the internet is dangerous and trust me, the internet is because the in trust me, if you post something on the internet and if it ain't good or something like that, trust me. The people on the internet, they will be toxic as hell. Like they don't give no f's. They was go straight. They was they was tell it straight how it is. No BSing around. It. So and she believes, and it's like she's saying that. And what she said, I believe the internet is female, embodies everything with great ultrasound detail. Could be true. I ain't gonna say she's wrong. But and it's like this. This right this right here is basically how everybody is. Where this basic this one says like some of you sniff these likes sniff these likes as if it were cocaine. You drink these follows like it's codeine. Some of you inhale these retweets, reposts, and reblogs like Mary Jane. But get mad when others say you're not the same. It's such a shame. Basically, what I get from you is that oh, when you have a different mindset and such, and if you don't agree with the people who comment on something like it or so and so if you don't like what they like or oh, the ECR fast everybody wants to get get on you just because you don't want to like them it's if they have like come on that is if that ain't saying toxic or something like that I don't know what is cuz something just wrong And it's like this, this last one where it's, that's one where it says about how social media evolves, mother internet recalled, 
as the world revolves, our information evolves. And for me personally, what I get from that is where everything in life always going to be around social media. No matter if it's about personal or private, one way or another, it's going to be on the internet. And sometimes you can criticize as good, you can criticize as bad. Either way, the internet is always going to be here for, all, for everything that happens in your life. And the next one where I like was was on God, because basically this is where she's basically finding her religious with God and such. Uh, and it's like this for all my Christians out there. This will stick to me, because trust me, the way how she literally sorry, goes into it, like how we are, like what she says here about. We are creations, we are creators. Like that part is I mean, that part is that part peeks out to me a little bit because it's like this. We are all God's creation. And sometimes we ourselves can create something else that's either good or bad. But sometimes it depends on how you use it. If you want to use it for good, great. If you're using it for bad, I don't know what to tell you. Either way, bro. Something. Basically, what she's saying is that always try to believe in God. Believe in God, cause trust me, God can do wonders for you. And the other one is that this one actually does would actually hit me. Basically, saying a catastrophic blessing, where she just basically goes into details about. How her mom was an inspiration for her and like a role model. Because we, for all for all people out there with moms, because I know there's some that don't have a mom, some that do. But I'ma just go through the one basically who do have moms and so. But either way, basically the main point of all of this is where she's like saying like like I said, her mom is an inspiration for her, and tragically she passed away. So if she, I'm not saying, all I'm saying is, if she did, my condolence to her. But basically it's like, where everything she's talked about how her mom always been there for her no matter what. And when, certain times when she wanted to take care of her, she was also... She also said that she take she's teaching her how to take care of herself. Like I hear like what she says right here. Basically what I was saying was I was taking care of my mom while she taught me how to take care of myself. I despise feeling inferior. I didn't like asking for help. She invests some tools in me that many of my peers have yet to learn. I leave the problems in my past as bridges to burn. Basically from that part where I get is where she's saying that even though she wants to, even though she was taking care of her mom, her mom is teaching her to take care of herself. So that way, when she, when she's like going up and such, she don't needs nobody's help. Like she's saying that she didn't like asking anybody for help. And I get that. If you want to do stuff by yourself, that's fine. But sometimes you can. Sometimes you don't wanna. You know, basically, like you don't want nobody else to help you. You want to do it by yourself because that makes it more better for yourself. But either way, so far with those books and such, I like. And like I said, this is just only part one. So trust me, this is just only half of the stories I read. I still got, I'm going to still read the rest of them. Whether I'm at church or whether I'm just chilling at home, one way or another, I'm going to finish this book. And hell, I might even read it again. Just to get a good, like good, good like stuff and such, so that way it can stick with me. But all I gotta say is, bro, shout out, shout out to Honeybun for shipping this to me today, cause I literally just got this, to, got this this morning. Like right now, it's it's night, as you can see. 
it's 11.47 p.m. almost about to be midnight so I might pre premiere this and such but I just want to let y'all know that I got this literally today on the 19th and trust me I, when I'm telling y'all that when I was when I, when I told you guys when from when I'm reacting to her music that she, when I saw her at my fair Fridays back in Allendale when we, where we go together trust me when I tell you that she got talent for, for sure whether it was through music or poetry either way she got talent no cap like no cap <laughs> But for real, she had talents, and hey, it's like this. It's still woman appreciation, man. no doubt. So trust me, she's one of the many female, not even just rappers or just artists, just female people in general. She's one of the many ones I would respect. And always, just basically always respect, cause. She don't be BSing about anything, she tells it how it is. And it's like, like I said, shout out to her again for, for like, shipping this book out to me. And sorry if I'm always not good with speaking like stuff, cause sometimes I be choking a lot, but whatever I'm saying is true, but shout out to her for the way all this book is. Trust me, if any or any time when I want to see her in person, hey, I'll be glad to want to talk to her about such nothing whether just to hang out or so so honey bunny if you ever want to hang out let me know but hey like i said shout out to her again for shipping me this book but if y'all want a book if y'all if she has more dm her i'll leave her twitter dms not twitter dms <laughs> sorry twitter link down in the description box below but so far, I like the book, no doubt. But, I hope you enjoyed this video and this review of it. This is just only part one. Part two might be coming, whether in a week or by the end of this month. But, let me know if you like this video. Like or dislike about it or so. And let me know in the comments below. It's been your boy, Humble Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.